All right, so I'm going to be installing my uh, Progress Sway Bar today. I was I actually tried to do it last night, but it turned out that the hardware they sent me uh, was missing some jam nuts. And also, my base model S14 doesn't come with a sway bar. And uh, so, it, although the subframe does have the threaded holes for the sway bar, it didn't have, I didn't have any uh, bolts to actually mount the sway bar, and I don't know if the kit was supposed to come with it or not, but um, I had to do a little bit of searching, found the bolt size, tried them out, and these are, um, if anybody else wants to do a sway bar with the base model and don't feel like looking in the junkyard, it's uh, M10, 1.25, 25 millimeter, and that's, uh, that's to mount the, um, uh, sway bar bracket to the subframe. So I got four of those, and then I had to go find some jam nuts because uh, it actually didn't come with them in the kit. It's these right here, and uh, it's pretty nice uh, overall. I mean, other than I had to go hunt for some parts, but um, the diagram is fairly easy to understand how to assemble the uh, end links. And then, of course, there's a, a brief step-by-step. -step. So, uh, I don't think I'll have any more problems now uh, that I got everything. And uh, I've already assembled the end links. Um, you know, I just got to tighten everything up. But, um, i seen on the uh, forum, I don't remember which one, but the guy that installed his, he said that the, the top here, the bracket, um, didn't sit very well in the uh, control arm because I have the OEM control arms and as you can see in this picture it even shows it how it's like cocked to the side and he said that it didn't seem very stable so he added a washer on top of it and he said it made a big difference and also um, the control arm has like a on the top of the control arm where the end link bolt will go there's like a cup and um, this washer was sitting directly on top of that and so he had thrown in another washer on top of that one to uh, uh, take up the space more or less and you know make it more solid so I'm gonna take his advice and see how that works out and uh, basically I mean it's pretty simple you know you get your bolt washer spacer um, spherical bearing spacer and then washer and then nut and uh, Everything's uh, 14 millimeter or 9 sixteenths, whatever, whatever you want. 14 is a little tight, so I don't know if the. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is <clears throat> when I'm tightening to tighten that, I may have to take this off. That's why I haven't tightened anything here, so that I can get a socket on that on that bolt right there. It's uh, there's no way to get a wrench in there. So other than that, I mean, everything seems to have gone together well. I got the sway bar outside. And let's go do that. Oh, by the way, it's Halloween. And, uh, well, almost Halloween. And that's my Jack Skellington. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Amazing. Okay. So we are going to begin this install by... Greasing up our bushings here. Got a little baby load of grease. And greasy's up. I'm going to slip them on the sway bar and get the bracket started. And uh, again, I'm doing this with, with uh, no help holding anybody holding the camera. So I'm all by myself today. So let me let me do that. I'll get this up and then I'll come back and we'll set we'll check out the progress. Oh by the way, there's uh I don't know if last night I don't know how good my uh video was of the actual install and I kinda of shit it out on y'all but um yep, everything's in looking around I just realized that bracket I left that bolt loose 
over there. So everything else looks good. Everything is kind of a pain in the butt getting it up in there. Um, it uh, took a lot of twisting and tapping, and I mean, I'm assuming the that the uh, the body is probably not 100% straight. Just you know, it's almost a 20 year old car. Probably is a 20 year old car. But, um, so yeah, I, I can imagine and putting those spacers on. You know, like I mean, it it's rock solid though now. Like it looks badass. So let me get that sway bar up, and I'll come back and uh, we'll talk in links. Stay tuned. All right, so what I did, I got the uh, front bolt started, and, uh, and then I worked over to the other side and got the other one started. It's a real pain in the ass to do by yourself, but I want to Loctite my bolts, and instead of making a mess trying to do it um, while the thing is, while I'm trying to balance this thing, I decided to start the first ones without the Loctite, and then come back and put some Loctite on and, uh, and then get these in and then I'll take these front ones off and throw a little Loctite on there and and then put them back on and it's still a pain in the butt to do with one hand so I'll be right back okay so I got the end links installed I mean I'm sorry I got the uh, brackets installed sway bars on and there's that now I just need to uh, install my end links there's the bottom you see how it's not quite flat and then on the top see there's that little cup there and that's what the guy was talking about uh, where he, he stuck a washer inside there to take up the space so that's what I'm going to do here get a little piece in put it in there the washer on top and then the, the big washer and then the nut tight it down a little lock tight on there well actually these have those plastic um, locks on there so it should be okay now let me do that and then we'll see how hard it is to get the end links to bolt up to the sway bar we'll be back okay so I got the top part mounted tightened down and I discovered that um, the only way to mount this so that you can still put these incredibly long ass bolts through there is at this particular angle that's the only way you get enough clearance to get the bolt in and even then you have to like thread it in um, I have no idea why these bolts are so long they really don't need to be you got like an extra inch of bolt um, so yeah I mean, that could be an improvement you know they they can get uh, slightly shorter bolts would definitely make this a lot easier so just a uh, FYI I'm gonna get the rest of this together all right so sway bar is on and that is that Ugh. Badass. So, although it seemed a little, um, I don't know, over maybe a little over complicated. I mean, it's really easy, but um, very little wiggle room. And you know, right now the car's up in the air, so the suspension is is fully. Uh, extended so that's why this looks a little little binded but when you set the car down this will all come up and it'll be straighter and it'll be more awesome one thing I did notice um, with the car up in the air the uh, sway bar connects with the um, subframe right there so I mean that's not really a big deal it's, I don't think the car will ever get that much height when uh, when I'm driving, but definitely if I 
you know, hit a bump and the car goes up and I hear a clink and I know where that's coming from. So, but there it is. Um, overall, I, I do like this more than, uh, than the end links, than the, you know, rubber pushing links. Like, um, I think it, it's more technical looking and, uh, we'll see how, how that, you know, benefits the car, uh, on the road. Um, all I lack now to actually set the car on the ground is, um, I got a weird issue. I don't know if you can see that metal brake line right there. It's, uh, completely plugged up. I don't know why or what, what's the deal with that, but I'm going to try to bleed the brakes here next and, uh, find out if anything actually gets through that. If it's clogged from some reason or other, I'll, I might dr try to drill it out and see if I can flush everything out of there, or uh, I may just uh, replace the line. But we'll see what happens. It, that's uh, that's another video though. But there it is, man. It, and I gotta say, it looks pretty sharp from back here. Oh, my fat finger out of the way. That is the sickest fucking rear subframe I have ever done so pretty happy with that outcome and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one peace